Hey everyone, my name is Pete Nastasi. I'm a certified sports nutrition coach, and today we're gonna to be talking about the best supplements for sleep. So there are a number of reasons why you may want to add a sleep aid supplement into your routine. And this could include the fact that you consume a lot of dietary caffeine throughout the day. This could be when you're traveling and in a different time zone. And this also just could be for general comfort and because you have trouble falling asleep on a daily basis. So let's talk about some of the potential benefits of adding a sleep aid supplement to your routine. The first is that it's actually going to help you fall asleep faster and help you stay asleep for a longer period of time. The benefit there is that longer duration sleep increases the chance of REM sleep, which is actually what makes us feel well rested and recovered the next day. So let's talk about some of the key differences between whether you'd want to use a melatonin supplement versus a magnesium supplement. So in general, you wanna think about the melatonin supplement being the stronger of the two. When you take a melatonin supplement, that really ups the melatonin in your body, which actually increases the likelihood of falling asleep. On the other hand, magnesium is a great way to kind of promote relaxation. It's great for people that have very active lifestyles. They may have some high stress, a very active mind. This kind of helps to wind them down and promotes restfulness as opposed to actually inducing sleep. So those are some of the pros of using a sleep aid supplement, but there also might be some cons, right? The main thing that you wanna look out for is becoming too reliant on a sleep aid supplement. While these supplements can be used for the nights where you really need a good night's sleep, they shouldn't always be used in order to fall asleep. So you wanna make sure that you're able to fall asleep without the use of these supplements as well. In addition to sleep aid supplements, there's also a number of different natural ways to help you fall asleep. So the first thing I always like to suggest is matching your outside light to the inside light. And the best way to do this is as the sun sets, you should start dimming the lights in your house or turning off overhead lights and only using lamps. You should also think about reducing the amount of screen time that you have approximately one hour before bed because that actually inhibits the amount of melatonin that your body's naturally producing. The last thing is kind of developing your own nighttime routine, whatever that may be. That may be listening to music, that may be reading a book, that might be stretching. Just find something that starts getting your body ready for bed that you do on a daily basis and it kind of lets your body know you're winding down for the night, you're getting ready for a restful night's sleep. So keep in mind that everything that we say is for informational purposes only, right? We give you some great guidelines, but you should always consult with your healthcare professional before adding or removing any supplements from your routine, as they can best help you understand which of these supplements will work best for your specific health and wellness needs.